February 20th, 1893. He was a Louisiana-born American military officer, politician, inventor, writer, civil servant, and the first prominent general of the American Civil War. Today he is commonly referred to as PGT Beauregard. Beauregard was trained as a civil engineer at the United States Military Academy and served with distinction as an engineer in the Mexican-American. Following a brief appointment at West Point in 1861, with the South's secession, he became the first Confederate Brigadier General. He commanded the defenses of Charleston, South Carolina, at the start of the Civil War at Fort Sumter on April 12, 1861. Three months later he was the victor at the First Battle of Bull Run near Manassas, Virginia. Beauregard commanded armies in the Western Theater of the American Civil War, including at the Battle of Shiloh, in Tennessee, and the Siege of Corinth in northern Mississippi. He returned to Charleston and defended it from repeated naval and land attacks in 1863. His greatest achievement was saving the important industrial city of Petersburg, Virginia, and thus also the Confederate capital of Richmond, Virginia, from assaults by overwhelmingly superior Union Army forces in June 1864. However, his influence over Confederate strategy was marred by his poor professional relationships with President of the Confederate States Jefferson Davis and other senior generals and officials. In April 1865, Beauregard and his commander, General Joseph E. Johnston, convinced Davis and the remaining cabinet members that the war needed to end. Johnston surrendered most of the remaining armies of the Confederacy, including Beauregard and his men, to Major General William Sherman. Following his military career, Beauregard served as a railroad executive. He became one of the few wealthy Confederate veterans because of his role in promoting the Louisiana State Lottery Company. During the Mexican-American War, Beauregard served as an engineer under General Winfield Scott. He was appointed brief captain for the battles of Contreras and Churubusco and major for Battle of Chapultepec, where he was wounded in the shoulder and thigh. He was noted for his eloquent performance in a meeting with Scott, in which he swayed the opinions of the general officers assembled to change their planned tactics for attacking the fortress of Chapultepec. He was one of the first officers to enter Mexico City. Beauregard considered his contributions in dangerous reconnaissance missions and devising strategy for his superiors to be more significant than those of his engineer colleagues, Captain Robert E. Lee, so he was disappointed when Lee and other officers received more brevets than he did. Beauregard returned from Mexico in 1848. For the next 12 years, he was in charge of what the engineering department called the Mississippi and Lake Defenses in Louisiana. Despite this title, much of his engineering work was done elsewhere, repairing old forts and building new ones on the Florida coast and in Mobile, Alabama. He also improved the defenses of Fort St. Philip and Jackson, on the Mississippi River below New Orleans. He worked on the Board of Army and Navy Engineers to improve the navigation of the shipping channels at the mouth of the Mississippi. He created and patented an invention he called a self-acting bar excavator to be used by ships in crossing bars of sand and clay. While still in the Army, he actively campaigned for the election of Franklin Pierce, the Democratic presidential candidate in 1852 United States presidential election and a former general in the Mexican War, who had been impressed by Beauregard's performance at Mexico City. Pierce appointed Beauregard as superintendent engineer of the New Orleans Federal Customs House, a huge granite building that had been built in 1848. As it was sinking unevenly in the moist soil of Louisiana, Beauregard had to develop a renovation program. He served in this position in 1853, and was able to stabilize the structure successfully. During his service in New Orleans, Beauregard became dissatisfied with life as a peacetime officer. He informed the United States Army Engineering Department late in 1856 that he was going to join the filibuster, who had seized control of Nicaragua. He had offered Beauregard the rank of second in command of his army. 
senior officers, including General-in-Chief Winfield Scott, convinced Beauregard to change his mind. He briefly entered politics, as a reform candidate for mayor of New Orleans in 1858, where he was promoted by both the Whig Party and Democratic Party, to challenge the Know Nothing Party candidate. Beauregard was narrowly defeated. Employing the political influence of his brother-in-law, John Slidell, Beauregard obtained an appointment as superintendent of the United States Military Academy on January 23, 1861. His orders were revoked and he relinquished the office after only five days, when Louisiana seceded from the Union. He protested to the War Department that they had cast improper reflection upon his reputation or position in the Corps of Engineers. By forcing him out as a Southern officer before any hostilities began. The General Beauregard thanks you for watching this video.